Hi, and welcome to another great episode of Wine and Dine with Mastro. I'm your host, Tom Mastriani, and today we have a special guest, Brian Naylor from Taste This. Brian, how are you how today? How you doing, Tom? Pleasure to be here. All right. Today, Brian's going to be telling us about cheese. And the best thing to go with cheese, from what I hear from Brian, is wine. It goes great with cheese. Tell us why, Brian. Um, wine and cheese are very similar. Okay. Grapes make wine. Uh-huh. Milk makes cheese. Okay. They're, the only way you change it is the way you age it or uh -huh. store it. Hmm. or that's basically it, right? Yeah. You put yeah. them in a cask, and the grapes, you press them, put yeah. them in a cask, and that you turn around, you have wine. Right. You milk some sheep, put it in a cave, mm -hmm. and you turn around, you have cheese. cheese. You put it in a, you cook it a little, you turn mm -hmm. around, you have a different kind of cheese. Wow. You have it raw, pasteurized, the same with wines. Well, thinking about it that way, that's, that's really interesting that you... They're both kind of made the same way. Right. So they're both aged, and it depends on where they're aged and how they're aged and where they actually come from, as if the grapes or the, or the milk. I mean, you, you have valleys that some grapes are grown in, and some mm -hmm. cheeses are, grow, are aged in valleys really? or caves where, you know, climate, temperature, weather, right. what the, the uh, animals eat, mm -hmm. all goes into cheese, okay, just like great. wine. All right, so tell us what you have here as far as cheese. Well, I figured today we'll go big blues because I know that you always have the biggest reds. Yes, and I do have so the biggest I got reds. What I like to call my blue heaven. My blue heaven. America, France, Spain, and the UK. And I also got some nice Gruyere. This Very is nice. Aged. This is uh, American stuff from Wisconsin, really grand cru. Wisconsin and we're Gruyere. We're going to make okay. some uh, fondue with that. Beautiful. Real simple, easy fondue. And then I have a, a variety of goats. Goat cheeses are really okay. getting popular, and they're doing a more than just the logs that you see in the tube. And uh, we'll talk about them and pair them with your wine. I have some great wines lined up for this. I have a Balchandal Sauvignon Blanc. I have a uh, Iron Horse Chardonnay, which is very nice. We have a Mark West Pinot Noir. And we have three Cabernets. We have the Jordan Cabernet, we have the Spellbound Cabernet, and we also have an Avalon Cabernet. So these should go off very nicely with what Brian has brought us today. You know, these cheeses are going to really make these wines pop. And I'll show you. I know you talk about magic on your show all the right. time. This right. is really going to be something. All right, so we got some we magic in the I'm making. I'm real thirsty, and I'm sure you're hungry. And all right, well, let's start on the light side. We'll go with the Bosch and Dahl, and we'll see how this goes. What do you think of these wine stoppers, huh? They are cool. Have a I never noticed them. Yeah, these are all... Handmade, blown glass. Cool. Done by bongs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna edit that out. No. <laughs> there you go, Brian. All right. So this Bachandal is very uh, full-bodied, uh, but very light still, mildly effervescent. It's very nice. Let's give it a shot and see what you can pair with it. Hmm. What do you think? I know you were eyeballing this earlier, so. Yeah, I was I was interested in this. Um, how does it get to be effervescent? Wow, that's a lot of alcohol in here, huh? It's a decent amount. It's not overly. The legs do show up pretty well there, but it, it it's not that high. It's not that hot. It's not a sparkling wine. So how does it get that yeah. crispy, poppy? Well, it gets its effervescence from from the fermentation stage. Sometimes you have some residual um, yeast or residual um, sugar. Yeah, sugar that that's gonna turn off into it's, it's gonna turn the carbon dioxide and fermentation oh, that, oh, okay I hear you. and right. add some bubbles to the that's wine kind of exactly a beer thing almost. exactly oh, sure great. yeah I... it all gets it from the fermentation process so what do you think pair us up all right well let's start with something really uh, I'm gonna save I'm gonna save the, the blues I think they need a little time you can see the start of sweat so they're getting where they need to be I'm gonna save those for those big four down the end Oh, let's work on these goats. Just take a little schmear. This is going to be a little more body than cream cheese. Okay. And this is how a basic goat cheese. Okay. Probably aged for six months. It smells like a little like cream cheese. Get them all over your mouth. Every party, you know, your mouth is starting to water now. Now oh, it's coated. Take a nice sip of wine. Wow. Totally different. Now, let me know what the it's fruit like, you're getting now. I'm getting like a bright berry, little yeah. berries, something tight, maybe Definitely even a... Definitely a raspberry. Definitely a raspberry. Yeah. 
Definitely, and uh, maybe a little um, champagne grape. Okay. A little bit like that. That really tart. Right, right. You this know. is uh, it, it's it's amazing, like what it does to. And it basically the the wine cut all the cheese right out, and it just blended. Yeah. This all is right. uh, another little trick. Let's see if it works with the apple. Okay. Get it all mm -hmm. marked around there. Hmm. Apple a little too big for that, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's overpowering. Uh, just the rind. If it, there wasn't a rind on there, I bet you. Yeah, you're right. You're you right. wouldn't catch that. You get the nice juices. There's well, a lot of flavor in the rind of the apple. That's really good. You know what? Um, top off. I'll top oh, off. Yeah. And. Um, I'm going to add this, and let's get this fondue working. This okay. is real simple recipe, really cool for, for wine. Just pour a bottle of wine in there. Pour all my Bosch and Dahl <laughs> into the fondue. Hey, you want to have good food, you got to have good wine. The good wine, good it's product. not going to waste, that's and for I'm sure. I'm going to pour all my Grand Cru. That's all I have left. All right. So I used all my wine, all his cheese. And now we're just going to sit here while we taste this and let this do its magic and just come <laughs> together. All right. None All right. of that. Take a piece of garlic, put some salt in the pot, rub it around. It's wine and cheese. And this is going to be our magic. And that's it. Yep. Wow. Hi, I'm Tom Mastriani with Wine and Dime with Mastro. For info on recipes, wines, spirits, and other products on my show, log on to www.mastrotv.com.